Hey, it's Nicholas with the Backyard TARDIS here with another Top 10, this time Top 10 DC Movies. Um, and I'm going to start off right off the bat apologizing a little bit about the quality. Still over 100 degrees here in Northern California. Going on, I, uh, I believe it's the ninth week in a row. Um, finding it harder and harder to find times when I can coolly talk in my van. Uh, but uh, on top of that, my throat's a little nasally. There's been fires, and the smoke messes with my sinuses. But I'm going to do my top 10 DC uh, based, DC comic based movies. And um, I, I got a feeling this is going to upset some. Uh, not because of what I put on the list, but because what I don't put on the list. And I'm very picky when it comes to DC movies. Uh, um, I actually like DC more than I do Marvel. And so because of that, I am really picky and choosy. And a lot of movies that people praise, he praise on a lot, um, I don't like. I, I, I fundamentally have certain problems with. So, that going... My number 10, Wonder Woman, came out in 2017. Um, this was a, a movie that uh, I think for the first two acts was a really good movie. Gal Gadot really played the character well. Our chemistry with Chris Pine was really good. And then it got to the end and for me just fell apart. Uh, but still made the list at number 10. Uh, my number nine is a, a big throwback to 1951's Superman in the Moment. Uh, this is a, a classic. Um, obviously, it's not one you watch on repeat, but every now and then it's fun to go back and see that classic. Um, number eight, Batman Begins. Uh, 2005's Batman Begins. I had a lot of problems with the the, the Nolan Batman movies, but uh, Batman Begins um, grew on me later. I really liked it as um, a Batman origin story. I had problems with the Batmobile, but I, I, I liked the story with Ra's al Ghul and how he, he trained. Um, I liked that. Uh, number seven, continuing on there, The Dark Knight Rises. 2012, the, the final Nolan Batman movie. Um, a lot of people had a problem with this. I actually appreciated this because of Bane. A lot of people made fun of the Bane voice. They made fun of the... In the comics, Bane is Batman's equal, not only in martial arts, but also in brains. So, like, the... Um, what is it? The... Uh, Batman and um, um, Batman and Robin movie, you know, and that they did Bane so wrong, and, and and a lot of people just have this idea, even from the Batman animated show that I love so much, it portrays Bane as just being um, a muscle guy. But in the comics, one of the reasons why Bane is such a threat is he's not just muscles; he's also brains, um, kind of like. Um, um, Deathstroke. So, uh, it's what makes him such a good Batman villain. And I felt they did him pretty good there. Um, my number six, 2018's Aquaman. Um, Jason Momoa did a really good job. He, he plays this character well. Um, as a character that most people think of as a joke character, I think this was a great portrayal of this character. And of the DCEU movies, it is my favorite. Um, so that's it gets the number six spot on there. Now my top five. These are movies that I, I truly enjoy. So the ones below there, the ones that I like or have some sort of nostalgia for, but these top five are going to be ones I, I really enjoy. Number five is the um, 1966 Adam West Batman movie. Um, hand me down the shark repellent. Uh, 
I just love this movie. Such an amazing cast, bringing you all those different villains from there. Yes, it's goofy. Yes, it's funny. But I enjoy that. Um, this is a movie that I can watch anytime. Somebody says they want to watch this, I will sit down and watch this with them. Okay, number four is uh, Superman 2, the 1980 movie. Um, this one was a lot more campy compared to the first Superman, but it was still good. And um, it had real stakes to it. Um, and it really tugged on the emotions of Superman. Uh, really good one. Uh, number three, 1992's Batman Returns. I really love Batman Returns. Now, it seems that a lot of people don't like Danny DeVito as the, the Penguin, but I thought he did an excellent Penguin. I I just love the Batmobile in this movie. I really love I mean, it's similar to the, the other Batman film that came before its Batmobile, but just the features of it. I had a lot of the toys from this movie. Um, I love the Penguin. I love Catwoman. This is just such a good movie. And oftentimes I think it gets overlooked because the first one was also such a good movie. And the next one, and this is kind of like the one in the middle that like people don't talk about enough. This is a great movie. Um, my number two is um, the 89 Batman. Uh, Jack Nicholson will always be my, my, my Joker. I mean, Mark Hamill is the animated Joker. I mean, that's, that's perfect Joker. But when it comes to live action... Um, until they give Mark Hamill the opportunity to play it live action, it's going to be Jack Nicholson. I I like this one because he's he's threatening, he's serious in a certain way, but at the same time, he's goofy like the comic books, like the animated series, and that the Joker is not just another psychopath. The world is full of, of uh, brilliant psychopaths in real life. What makes him this the supervillain is all the crazy gadgets, all the crazy things just for the sake of the joke that make him so unpredictable. And that's what I feel like this Joker truly nailed. Um, he was truly scary, but at the same time, he wasn't humanized. He wasn't a normal uh, villain, um, which is where, my personal opinion, I don't like um, the Dark Knight, because to me, that Joker feels like a run-of-the-mill, regular um, human psychopath that, that has a brilliant mind that works things out, but he doesn't feel like the Joker to me. But uh, 89 Batman, to me, the music, the suit, every, every, the Batmobile, everything about this movie I love. Um, my number one, though, has to be 1978's Superman. It made you believe a man could fly. This is just such a beautiful movie. Um, and to the, the, the soundtrack, um, the, the moments with, with Lois and Clark and just all of that going into it, I really love this movie. This is just a feel-good movie for me. Okay, now what's my secret number 11? Well, we mentioned it earlier, and that's um, Batman and Robin. This is not a good movie. Uh, I almost put Batman Forever there, but Batman Forever is one of those movies that teeters right on the between not good to good that I have a hard time going back to it. But Batman and Robin is so bad, it's fun to go back and watch because it's so bad. And who doesn't love Arnold with the, with the stupid freeze puns? I, I, it's just ridiculous enough that, that I love it and that's why it's my secret 11 because it's not a movie I like, but it's a movie I enjoy watching. Anyways, that's my top 10 DC movies. Um, I know Many of you have a different list that will um, include um, some more recent uh, Batman movies or Superman movies. So why don't you go ahead and let me know in the comments uh, what your list is. But be civil. 
like I said, uh, everybody's passionate about these things, but that's just my list. All right, everybody, have a good day.